Oh my god, Aries, what are you barking at? Oh. So now that I've got the shirt and the vest all sewn together, which I really don't know how this all came together as quickly as it did, I'm going to go ahead and start actually hammering in the holes to sew my suede lace through. So one of the things about working with suede or leather is that if you're going to use like this suede lace in it, you actually have to poke the holes into the suede itself before you can actually sew it because this is animal hide. I'm sure there's a proper word for it in actual sewing terminology, but basically you have to poke the hole before you can actually sew anything through it. And another thing I can point out is whenever you sew into it, it's always going to create like these little, um, like it's going to have little holes in it that aren't going to close back up and they can be a little bit obvious. Here on this like sleeve, let me see if I can get it closer. Whenever I was seam ripping the like sleeve cap out of there because I put it on wrong, you can still see some of the holes from whenever I sewed that on the sewing machine. I don't really mind. It's really not that noticeable unless I literally shove it in your face. And if people are staring that hard at my armpits whenever I'm at a convention, then we've got bigger problems than that. So here are all of the supplies that I've got in order to start poking holes into my suede. First, I've got my suede lace. I've got this like kind of brownish color here. This is one eighth thickness. Also have a suede lace needle and I'll show you how I thread that here in a moment. Also have this mini punch kit that I got from Tandy Leather. I will be using the one eighth size here. And then last, I've got this mallet and the mallet is going to be what I use to hit this thing to create the holes in my suede. And the last supply that you probably want to have is some type of cutting mat. And my cutting mat is a self-healing cutting mat. Basically, you just want something to be able to hammer into. Like don't do this on top of like hardwood floor or anything like that because you will probably get little tiny holes in your hardware floor if you do that. And all that you need to do in order to punch a hole in your suede is take your little punch here, hold it upright on your suede like this, go in with your hammer and just hammer it down. And you might need to twist it a little bit to get it out of there. But there you go, you've got your little hole. And now you get to repeat it dozens, maybe hundreds of times on Aloy's outfit. So I'm not gonna waste any more time because I've got a lot of holes to punch out on this suede top here. For now, I'm really just concentrating on the bottom seam of the outfit. I'm gonna get all of those holes punched in so that whenever I have free time, I can hopefully sit down and just suede some lace while I am watching YouTube videos or what have you. So let's get to hammering some more of these holes in here. Is everything okay? Oh my god, as I was hammering, I just knocked the camera off of the table. Everything's fine, everything's fine. So that actually only took about 15 minutes to punch all the holes around the bottom seam here. Unfortunately, this mat that I'm using is not self-healing as I thought. Actually, now that I think about it, I think it was 15 bucks off Amazon, so no wonder it's not self-healing. But anyways, I got everything, you know, punched out here. And as you can see, I've got all the little holes around the bottom, can you see? Yeah. And these are what we are going to sew the suede lace through. I did want to show you how to actually thread one of these things because I didn't really know up until like a little bit ago. And the needle has like an opening right here on the back. And all that you have to do is you take the end of your suede lace and you kind of shove it in the back of your needle and you just twist. And I like to twist a good amount in there. And there you go, and you've got your suede lace threaded right there. And then all I have to do is just, you know, pull off as much suede lace thread as I feel that I need. I'm gonna need quite a bit of it. I'm just gonna snip the end. And now I've got this big long piece of suede lace that I will just sew with. And I will show you like a couple stitches here. It's really simple. So as you can see, I've got this big giant wad of suede lace. Again, you can choose to have as little or as much as you want. I just hate having to start over. It's really what I hate doing. So I'm going to start my stitching on like the side underneath the armpit, just because I always find that that's like one of the better places to start. And I just thread it through the back. I'm going to pull all this suede lace through. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> We're just going to knot it. And if you're a better person at knotting than I am, you will not waste <laughs> that right there. And there you go. So I'm just gonna leave the knot like that until I finish sewing the rest of these pieces because at the end, whenever I finish this, I will just end up like using some leather glue and cutting this little tail off of there. So I'm gonna take my needle and go right under here. Oh my God, Aries, what are you barking at? Oh. And then just pull the lace through. <laughs> I'm 
you guys can probably hear Brian. And again, just making sure that that nice side of the suede is facing up. I'm gonna pull it in. And that is what we're going for. That is the look that we're going for. And we're just gonna repeat that a bunch more times. <laughs> so you can see why this is definitely going to be a watching a movie or watching YouTube type of activity because it's pretty repetitive, but it's kind of relaxing once you get into a rhythm of it. So I'm gonna sew a couple more strands here and then the next time you see me doing this, I'm probably gonna be sitting on the couch with a dog next to me, hopefully not barking and interrupting my footage again. So I don't wanna jinx myself, but I think that I might have just enough thread to get all of this suede lace on the bottom hem in one go. I have just enough. I have this much left. <laughs> there we go. We've got the entire bottom hem completely done. So that actually ended up only taking me about an hour or so to do. It was pretty nice, like kind of mindless work, but there's still a ton of work that still needs to be done. Before I start poking holes into the sleeve seams, I need to cut away some of the suede so that it matches our reference photos a little bit better. You can draw these lines in with pencil beforehand if you're a little bit nervous about cutting into your fabric, but I just took a pair of scissors and cut away at the fabric to form some small triangles on the front and back and sides of the sleeve caps. To minimize bulk on the underside of the suede sleeve caps, I'm choosing to clip the ends of the suede lace in place instead of going in and knotting the end of it so that there is just a little bit less bulk on the underside of that sleeve cap. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just taking some of my little clips that I clip a lot of my sewing projects in place with and I'm just clipping the end of the suede lace into place so that it stays there while I'm sewing the suede lace into it. And then once I'm done, I'm going to go in with some leather glue and glue all of those suede lace bits down so that they're nice and secure and they won't fall out. It is a tiny bit less secure than, you know, knotting and then putting some leather glue there. However, I think the trade-off will be nice because there's a lot less bulk on the underside of the suede here and if I had to knot every single little piece of the suede lace I think I would go crazy. One other thing I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video whenever you're punching these holes like I just kind of went in and just did it but if you really would prefer to have like a spot and like mark out your pieces ahead of time you can totally just like take a pencil or something and just mark your spots and that's actually what I'm going to do for this seam because basically all of the like vertical seams that are connecting the actual suede to each other. These seams all have cross hatch stitches. So they kind of look like X's up and down this whole thing. And for that, I'm actually going to mark those out because I feel like if I just went rogue, I would mess it up. As you can see, I've got four holes right here. I'm gonna go underneath the bottom right, pull it through a little bit, go through the top left, then I'm gonna go underneath the bottom left and over to the top right and we've got a nice X there. And I'm just going to basically cut out all the holes and repeat it the entire way up. So unfortunately, I, I'm i just a little bit more powerful than I thought that I was. <laughs> I ended up busting the tip to my uh, little hole punch here. I ordered one that is basically all metal, so hopefully this won't happen again, but that's why I kind of pivoted and did all this embroidery here on the sleeves. Only took me about like maybe a half an hour to do while I was watching some YouTube videos and it came out really nice in my opinion because this is supposed to look pretty hand sewn and pretty, you know, like not uniform. So I had a lot of fun doing it. Only took me about like maybe a half an hour to do while I was watching some YouTube videos and it came out really nice in my opinion, because this is supposed to look pretty hand sewn and pretty, you know, like not uniform. So I had a lot of fun doing it. It was like five millimeter embroidery thread that I use, which, you know, it's double looped. So it really kind of gives it that, that look of just a lot of stitches there, which I'm really happy with that. And then I guess this shirt is finished. I wanted to have this shirt done as well as the vest done before we head out to London next week, but hopefully that other punch comes in soon so I can get back to doing some more of this like cross hatch here on the front. As you can see, I got a couple here. I was able to do that with this punch here, but I, you know, can't really get all the way up there with it. So it's got to wait for some, you know, supplies to come in, unfortunately. <laughs> 